It's the biggest tournament of the year. Over 1,000 athletes from all walks of life piling into Ball Arena, speaking the universal language of wrestling. The Littleton Lions are seeking their first state title in program history, and this guy might be the answer. Once he stepped on the mat and I first got my hands on him and moved him around and felt the natural strength that he had, I was extremely excited about what the future holds. Lions junior James Horton in his first year of wrestling and already a state qualifier. Ooh, I'm excited, really motivated to just be successful, be a champion at state. I've got my goals, I've got my motivations, and I'm just really motivated to pull my sleeves back and focus and get to work. Well, you might have noticed, James is completely deaf. There's plenty of high-level wrestlers around the world, and we don't all speak the same language. And so it's just another person that's willing to get on the mat and compete at the highest levels to their ability. And wrestling isn't his only sport. James excels in football, too. And there are challenges, but you don't really have to worry about if you're deaf or hearing or anything. You can just focus on wrestling, the movement, the techniques, the strategies. James hopes to inspire the next set of kids just like him. It doesn't matter what their challenges are. They can tap me to communicate with me. You can just look at me. It doesn't matter if I'm deaf. You can still communicate with me. You can still wrestle. You can still do it all. Horton dominated the first round, up by eight points at one point, and topping it off with a pin. Reporting for Ball Arena, I'm Ashley Moore, and we're covering state wrestling all weekend.